I have been doing these British farces for a long, long period of time. I enjoy it and I believe there is a fairly large audience who does appreciate it. Oops, it's a cross-dresser, also known as Cash on Delivery. Um, Cash on Delivery was, is written by uh, Michael Cooney. He is uh, the famous Ray Cooney's son. And also they co-wrote, I'm sure you all would have heard of this, um, Tom, Dick and Harry. Yeah, so it's the same guys and uh, uh, it's, well the stories are quite similar, it's very intricate. Uh, it's a farce, so this is more of a, of a in-room farce where it's uh, cues fast, I mean, uh, the cues go fast, uh, uh, quick humour, uh, dumb humour as well. So it's a, it's a play for the family. as all British farces are and British farces are understood by the people of, uh, by the people of Sri Lanka. Uh, I change those here and there, I bring in new titles sometimes which is um, attractive to the Sri Lankan audience. Come on. 
someone to speak to. Excellent thinking, Lord. I'll see you. Oh, wait a minute. He means Mr. Rupert Thompson. Your old tenant? No, he doesn't mean him. Yes, it has to be him. He emigrated to Canada. I know that woman. But they keep delivering his mail here. It's not that Mr. Thompson he wants to see. Oh, yes, it is. And you know what? I won't just Uh, a mixed bag that's like for the entire family. There's a lot of uh, fraud happening, there's a lot of slapstick, and there's a lot of witty commentary happening between each character that's like really fun and like very well scripted. I will read Mr. Swan's signature. I beg your pardon. Mr. Swan, your landlord. I need his signature. What? To confirm you've been caught medicine here for the past six months. I also make sure that my cast is uh, always correspond with each other and have, have a good time because I believe in amateur theatre, people enjoying themselves as much as we do public performances. All my cast will tell you that they had a jolly good time during the rehearsals, etc. Et that is the whole concept, that's the whole idea of amateur theatre. I have been doing, doing it now for uh, actually 50 odd years and during that time there are so many
people who come back to me and say, oh, we remember the good times we had. Me and Norman are trying to resolve all these issues and this comedy of errors which is going on but we just keep adding to the chaos and it keeps getting worse and worse and even more hilarious as the play continues. Swan mainly who has committed a little bit of fraud and is trying to cover it up with one lie and then another lie and more lies after that um, and we see how things go wrong and how everyone sort of contributes to it uh, some are a little bit clueless some not uh, but it's hilarious
Khan, there are a lot of, lot of interest in young people wanting to do theatre. And I believe that they should have a good time because that's what, with all the other problems everybody has these days, including the young people with their exams and every other uh, uh, thing, I don't want this to be a headache as such. And hopefully that they would all have a good time. That is one of the reasons I said I'm still taking, taking to amateur theatre. That is what it's already uh, uh, all about. <laughs> There was a little lull for a period and now I must say we have a large, pretty large audience coming in. There's a lot of uh, mixture, that's English sort of theatre, that's all right. So that's lovely and then there is the political things which come out which is immensely popular. And that is of course I'm very glad that the theatre is responsible for uh, doing that, especially uh, the recent plays of the uh, pharaohs and all that because of suppression, suppression by governments. So they are exposing it by, wow, that is what theatre is all about, you see, that is very good. And there were the other periods, the lovely, when Hindu Dharma Sena exposed the, 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 um, the uh, salon culture at that time, all of Colombo was all about salons and so on. And uh, that he, he particularly used that.